Hello there. Welcome to my channel. Today we will make some observations with you. Enjoy watching. Who will be Britain's new Prime Minister? Britain will elect a new Prime Minister. Following the resignation of Boris Johnson's government, the Conservative Party and the UK will elect their new leaders. Two candidates from the Conservative Party stand out in the election to be held on September 5th, Foreign Minister Liz Truss and her rival, former Finance Minister Rishi Sunak. Both leaders have different backgrounds and promises. After the eventful resignation of Boris Johnson, island politics adapted. The status of the Conservative Party, which has been in power since 2010, and the politics of the United Kingdom will be determined in the next election. If Liz Truss is elected from among the two leaders, she will become the island's third female prime minister, while Rishi Sunak will become the first Indian-born prime minister if elected. In this video, we will take the pulse of the British Prime Minister race through the identities and discourses of the leader candidates. Rishi Alter or Liz Truss While getting to know the candidates, we will first try to understand the profiles they promised and look for an answer to the question, what kind of politics will the new British Prime Minister follow based on the discourses they used throughout the campaign. Both leaders had statements that garnered criticism and support before and during this election. Although both candidates are ministers in the current government, the difference between them is, Liz Truss currently serves as Secretary of State. Unlike his rival, former Finance Minister Rishi Sunak and many other cabinet members, Truss did not resign. Although this situation is interpreted differently for him, the fact that a government that lost its trust and received a reaction like the Boris Johnson government could not resign even after the fall seems to have created a negative atmosphere on the basis of voters. The fact that his rival Sunak resigns from his post as finance minister, albeit late, makes him more advantageous in terms of not carrying the burden of the old government. If we try to understand Liz Truss's profile through this behavior, it wants to create a clearer and sharper politician profile than its rival. His plans to send illegal immigrants, his tough stance against Russia and his statements of limiting China-based practices such as TikTok show that Truss has tougher and more populist promises than his rival. One of Truss's particularly outstanding traits is his desire to emulate Margaret Thatcher, the iconic figure of British politics. In active politics, Truss often poses in the same poses as the Iron Lady, often dressing like her and making similar statements. This gives her the new title of Iron Lady in the minds of voters and the media, but the resemblance is troubling to some. Despite the age of 47, Truss is an experienced name in politics, having served in different ministries. Because of the new Iron Lady image she was trying to create, it was written by the media that she was preparing to become Prime Minister for many years. Of course, there are some negative aspects of this experience as well. During this period, Truss faced intense protests in many of the live broadcast sessions she attended because of her practices in the past at the Ministry of the Environment or the Ministry of Women and Equality. We will see how these protests will affect the elections. His opponent, Rishi Sunak, plays a more cheerful and sincere politician in his speeches. He often jokes during the sessions as if he was on a stand-up show and wants to create a friendly image. Although not as much as Truss, he has some experience in the duties of the Ministry of Finance, which he has carried out for two years, and previously in positions such as the Chief Clerk of the Ministry. British Politics If we examine the speeches of the candidates on the main themes such as the economy, Brexit, Northern Ireland, the Covid process, the problem of illegal immigrants, the two leaders promise improvements in eliminating living costs and underlying tax cuts. It gives messages close to more liberal economic policies. But Rishi Sunak's promise that he will work to eliminate income inequality in urban and rural areas and provide a fund for this has been welcomed in some parts of the country. However, this statement was harshly criticized by different names within the Conservative Party. Truss, on the other hand, frequently states that some taxes should be reduced due to the high cost of living and that they will fight inflation on the basis of efficiency. Both leaders often try to win over their constituents by reassuring them that they will preserve the conservative culture. Sunak's statement that, I will be extremely strong against that left culture that wants to destroy our history, values, and even our women, drew great reaction. When we look at the issue of illegal immigration, which has been much discussed in the UK recently, we see that both leaders promised that they would control the island borders regarding immigration and that the problem would be solved in this way. They will be more strict about illegal immigration. Here, Truss's difference from Sunak is that there is a plan to send refugees to countries such as Turkey and Rwanda and that it has a wide coverage in our media. Although the two leaders have a similar stance on the refugee issue, Truss's more populist approach draws attention. Speaking to the Mail on Sunday newspaper, Truss said, without mentioning Turkey's name, the Rwandan policy is correct. I am determined to implement it fully and to look for other countries where we can work for similar partnerships. Truss had previously stated that she would not bow to the European Court of Human Rights, 
which blocked the departure of the plane that would take immigrants from England to Rwanda, and that she would increase the number of personnel at the border. Riha Sunak's statement that she could leave the ECTHR if necessary after the ECHR cancelled her referral plan shows that both leaders can violate international law regarding illegal immigrants and appeal to voters with populist approaches on this issue. According to my impression, which I evaluated in the context of foreign policy, it presents a different style with the discourses of Truss and Sunak. For example, regarding the defense budget, Sunak stated that the budget will be only 2.5% of the national product in the long run, while Truss stated that the defense budget will increase to 3% of the national product in five years. In this respect, while Rishi Sunak adopts a more principled attitude in foreign policy due to her economic background, we see that Liz Truss can be more impulsive and flexible. The fact that Truss currently holds the post of Secretary of State naturally places him at the forefront of this field. It is possible to foresee that Truss will be as strict as Boris Johnson, especially on China and Russia issues, while Sunak will follow a more moderate foreign policy on the grounds of economic cooperation. Both leaders stress that they will remain committed to the Brexit and Northern Ireland process and the importance of Northern Ireland's position in the UK. Of course, it should not be forgotten that Truss supported the Britain is Stronger in Europe campaign in 2016 and is now a supporter of Brexit. We remember that Rishi Sunak was an advocate of Brexit from the very beginning. A small note about Northern Ireland is that the existence of Sinn Féin, which we can call the political wing of the separatist Irish Republican Army, which entered the Northern Ireland Parliament as the second party in the last election, seems to question the status of Northern Ireland. Ireland is in the UK in the long run. From this perspective, we can expect that the new government will want to control Northern Ireland politics, but that separatist voices will continue to rise. In short, both candidates are very important names for the Conservative bloc. It looks like they will follow similar and different policies. But it is clear that both will bring innovations to British politics. At this point, will the Indian origin of Rishi Sunak have a negative effect? Will Liz Truss' tough stance and support for Johnson hurt her? We'll get the answers to these questions on September 5th, and then we'll see how to create a UK government. If you liked the video don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.